Hello everybody. Today I've got my completed Forest Friends journal that I'd like to share with you. Finally, finally finished it. This has been on the go for at least one and a half years now, I think. Um, stuff just keeps getting in the way and I haven't been able to finish it. And there were times where I just had ideas blocked, so I completely put it to the side. But now I can finally say that this is a completed project of 2023. And I've got to say that I am actually really happy with the final product. So I hope you guys enjoy flipping through it with me. The cover is actually a squishy cover. It's made out of foam and it's covered in fabric. And for the closure, I've just used this green seam binding and stitched the sides of it to give it more stability and also glued it around the entirety of the journal. I've also got a book page on the back and also some jelly print that I've done on book page. And then there's a frame on the outside um, with gold paint on it, some colored cheesecloth in like a moss green and a couple of butterflies, some ladybugs and some beads at the front as well. And this little pocket here actually has a tag in it, which comes out. And that is from Stamperia. I think it was actually, no, that could have been Graphic 45. I used Stamperia and Graphic 45 papers in this mainly, but then there's also a lot of coffee dyed papers. Um, and at the bottom here, I've just got a couple of little charms. So I've got an owl, a key, a bead, and this one has a couple of birds and a butterfly at the bottom. Okay, so let's get into it. And on the front cover, I've just got a clear pocket, which I glued on, um, modified that, and the back has a image of a butterfly and an old book page. This is actually from a Shakespeare book. It's really, really old, as you can probably see. Um, and this tag, I've made this a couple of years ago now, I think, um, and I thought that fit in really nicely with this journal. Front page, I've just got a stamped image here of a bird and some lace. Don't mind the stitching on that. First time I've sewed in couple of years so yeah it was really messy on that particular page next one there's a lace flip there's a top section here for some journaling you've got your little journaling card here too and another lace flip with an owl picture on the bottom and also down the bottom here I did a little cluster of a ribbon which has been ruffled um, and also some of this grass type material um, I think it might just be dried grass or something coloured, I'm not sure, and with a really nice green button as well. And here is just some coffee dyed vellum um, with a postage stamp. And this envelope as well, I've had that for quite a while, it made out of really big map pages. And just a couple of journaling tags in here. That one I think turned out really good. It was an old playing card and I just covered it with tissue paper and um, put some gold paint over it and then stuck this caterpillar down with some glitter on it and just a basic back there. And then it's got a doily on the front with a bird and then just a nice kind of woodlandy type picture and that's all on music paper. This next page is just a rabbit here with a little word and a, a um, leaf cluster. Um, and this page, this is actually a real flower, which I've put a little bit of Mod Podge in the center of so that it doesn't come apart. And it's just got a little bunny image on the back of that. Here's just a little cluster. There's a stamp, some more of my jelly print paper and Silent speaks when words can't and also a little gem some thread and some washi tape and this pocket I think came out really good I just like sewed some 
vellum onto um, the page and then with the page I actually stamped it says a flower blooms once so you can see it through the vellum and then I've got some trees here with some deer stamps and that's the page it's from an Edith Holden page and that's the back of it just got an embossed wolf in gold and some lace cluster here And the next page, it's got a couple of pockets on this. So just another journaling card there. And up here, this is actually an altered playing card. The tiger is um, from the playing card. And then I've just popped some paper on the back and some washing ta washi tape and some bunny pictures. And also embellished it with this ribbon. It's got some leaves from an old necklace. Um, bit of seam binding some twine and these little tags that i put on words on here meat eater i thought that suited the line really well and that's also a card that i've had with me for a couple of years um just a page of some old paper it looks like gothic writing um this page is really cool um it's got a deer of it on it and this I received in Happy Mail. It's just a little flower cluster. I've also had that for a really long time. And this is a tuck spot. So I've just got an owl card in here. Focus on the good. And I've got some little fabric tied up the top here with some gold paint splattered on the back of it. This page, I pretty much left it blank because I really like the look of it. I used Distressed and Oxide inks on it and it's just a little pocket on the inside and this little glassine bag has a couple of my little stamps on it which I've also had for a while and they're just a couple of animal eyes and then a little desert creature. This next page is out of a little golden book and I cut this out and then also cut out the writing next to it and it was called The Squirrel and there's a little poem of it. And then on the back I've just put some paper on a stamp. And yeah, that just slides in here. On this page I've just got a little clothes peg up the top. And that's just another little journaling spot with a really cute deer on the front of it. There's a little pocket down here. And it's just got another little couple of cards in it. And this pocket I got from Which Craft Do You Do? Um, I thought I'd glue that on to this page. And I've just got a couple of little... Edith Holden cutouts here with some blank paper on the back for some journaling. And I did some collaging on that envelope um, and an Edith Holden book page on the side. This next page, it's actually a flip. This page is from a book uh, which I've just cut out. I thought the words on there were really cute. And then I made it so it flips out on the side here. I've put an acetate pocket at the back and also done some oxide dye at the back with some stamping. And that little journaling card just goes in there. And a little cluster up here. This is actually a tuck spot as well. And on this page, I thought it looked really cool. I just found a picture of a carrot in a magazine, backed it with some stronger cardstock and put some of that grass type fibre up the top to make it look like a real carrot. 
and it's just a couple of stamping on the back of those cards. This is from a Peter Rabbit book. I thought that was a really cute bunny image and some stamping on the back. And here's the middle of it. So that's where I've decided to put a couple of the charms in that. It's a really kind of crude job, but yeah, charms are not my forte. So yeah, I thought that'd be fine. Um, this next page, there's a large picture of a squirrel. This flips out for some journaling space on this side. This I thought turned out really cute. It's just a guinea pig on a doily. And there's two pockets in this section. So one at the back here as well with the rabbit and some journaling space. And this page, I've just decided to sew on a part of a handkerchief and used that as a pocket. And there's a couple of tags here. So that's just got some um, distress staining on the back. And then there's a red door. And then this little picture and piece of writing is also from the same book as the rabbits from earlier. This next page, it's got some Edith Holden paper up the top and then just a large journaling card and a lot of writing space on the bottom for that. Um, pocket here with some cards at the back. And I've done some stamping with a brick pattern. Oh no, sorry, that was actually stenciling with a brick pattern and a little bit of trim on the side here. Pretty basic page over here. I've just done some gluing down of a butterfly and I'm not really sure what that says. I, I looked it up, but I, yeah, I can't remember now. Little mouse down the bottom. This page is, I've left blank, but it's also got some envelopes on it. That's a little button and some cheesecloth at the back. And these little mini envelopes come off and they've just got a few little bits and pieces in them. We're all pictures. Well, this page was pretty fun to make. There's a large spot at the back for a journaling card or a postcard. And then also in the front, there's also another spot for a little card. So that just goes up there. And then I've put some acetate um, in this flower and put a little squirrel in there. This is just a blank page with a bit, a bit of a cluster down the bottom. And here we've got a belly band with a journaling spot that's backed on some lace and it's got three different types of fabrics on it. These yellow dots are actually painted on and then there's a little mushroom and some thread and a sentiment down the bottom. This page I think is really cute. I love the picture of the little deer and the mother deer. And I've just got a tag behind that. Here's the other side of the vellum postage stamp. This page I think came out really good as well. It's just a hedgehog card at the back and there's little tuck spots with music paper at the front. So there's a little ticket. It's got a fox on it. This one's got a bird on it and that's just a fox stamp and I've got some um, embossing powder over that to make it all sparkly. And in this one, there's a ticket of a squirrel and an eye, animal eye. And this is also a pocket. So behind it, I've just got this uh, tag, pretty basic. And 
And last page, there's this really cute squirrel card that I made. It's backed with some acetate and some um, really old kind of graph paper. And it's also got this little charm in the corner, which I really like. Okay, the very back page, we've got a lace pocket just with a journaling spot and an image of a bear on the back there, kind of rubbing himself against the tree. So that is my journal. I hope you've enjoyed going through it with me. So yeah, now I can pop that to the side. I've also got another smaller journal. It's probably half the size, which I was also going to theme around forest slash woodlands. So I've still got that to finish. And yeah, I haven't decided what I'll be doing with them yet. More than likely, I'll probably just give them away. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Bye.